I was looking up on LinkedIn what a lot of directors of strategy, like, well, what is their background? And, you know, I saw a lot of, like, marketing background or, like, MBA, like, business background. Um, my background in particular is pretty different. Uh, my background is in research, actually. And so this is kind of like a home conference for me. Uh, the Human Factors and Computing Systems Conference is kind of the biggest conference uh, in my field. And one of the things I, I really like about it is I'd say like some of the most creative people that I know uh, attend this conference and they present some incredible work that just really makes me think differently about education, makes me think differently about interaction and how technology is going to impact the world. One of the reasons why I'm at the Kai conference this year is that I'm serving as one of the case studies chairs. It's the practical component for these research conferences, applying HCI uh, practices to some of their work. The person I rented the Airbnb from uh, didn't leave the key uh, to the apartment in the lockbox uh, like he said he would. So. As a result, I'm spending a little bit more time just waiting, uh, waiting for him to, to show up. And so I thought, you know, maybe in the meantime, maybe I'd talk a little bit about you know, some of the movies that I watched. So I had a chance to watch the Justice League movie. Um, and I don't think I've watched many of the, the prior DC movies, like the Batman versus Superman one. So I, I'm a little bit out of the loop. Uh, but I think one of the things that I, I noticed is like if you take away a lot of the visual effects of the story and let's say you were to do the same story as like just a, a play, it, it sounds kind of like a weird story. Like it, there's not really much to it. It's like, oh, there's a bad guy. And, you know, kind of near the end, it seems like any one of the characters could have easily defeated the bad guy. Um, so there, and even when they were like hit you know, like you, you never felt anything for the characters because they're they're all like heroes, like that are are pretty much invulnerable. So it just seemed like, well, why did they combine? Like, why did they have to work together? Like, what was what what couldn't be accomplished, um, and really required them to combine all their different skills together? It just it just didn't seem clear. It seemed like, oh, you know, like once they had Superman, he could have like, oh, like your your enemy was just so weak in comparison. Like to me, uh, a good story is one where you can mirror uh, the emotions of the person who's going through, uh, like who is who's watching the movie. They can they can kind of relate, and people relate to like more to vulnerability than they they do to these like invulnerable characters that you know kind of like it, it's kind of hard to associate with any of the emotions that they have. Cool on and you adjust. Yeah. Or if you want to put heat, it's left, and you put it on, and you adjust the temperature. And the TV here, we have a Roku, a Ro a Ro a Roku. I don't know if you yes, want. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay, so one of the reasons for like not having the key card, uh, it turns out the people in the apartment that I was staying at the other day had like a big party, and somehow they they broke the toilet. Uh, so the toilet bowl, he he showed me pictures of it, and it was like cracked. You know, you could you could actually see like like cracks throughout it. So they had to like basically remove it and then completely replace it. And the person who was replacing it uh, didn't put the the key back where it needed to be. So they actually moved me to like a totally different room. So here I'm on the the top floor, the twenty first floor, and I'll give you a little bit of a room tour. <music> with Elizabeth Bowie, who is also one of the co-chairs of the case studies along with me. We've been pretty fortunate to be able to work together. Elizabeth also has a lot of industry experience, but she also recently got your PhD. Congratulations. Thank you. And it was really a pleasure reading all of the submissions and talking about them and um, getting reviews of them and um, 
in some cases, negotiating among the reviewers who had different opinions of the value of the work. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. was really interesting. To see all the people who submitted um, like as pr practitioners, and there's just a wide variety. People from, co like, from co companies of various different sizes, not just the big companies. Mm -hmm. And Reloading. Elizabeth has been kind of involved for quite some time yeah. you know, from the early guys, you know, as yep. well. So. Hey, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. I really, really do appreciate it. Great pleasure. <laughs> Thank Many that I know have are either academics or they just work in industry. Uh, and there, it's few, there are few that actually do both. And so I've, I, it's been really great to see her perspectives. And many of her, her feelings kind of... Hey, my hey, <laughs> I wanted to ah, crush somebody, your podcast. Somebody's here, yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Johannes, who is the the new chair of the Interactive Surfaces and Spaces Steering Committee. So I chaired um, the workshops um, yesterday and the day before. We have four um, full papers that we present here on um, GeoHCI stuff. So it's always exciting to meet um, uh, so many friends and old colleagues and also mm -hmm. to photobomb. Uh, Ed. So I have a confession to make that you know it was me running, running behind Ed and I'm, I'm now really looking forward to the keynote. Thanks for video bombing me. Yeah, thank you. I'm with Justin Bieber. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> so we would like to welcome Christian Rudder. He's the founder of OKCupid, and he also had a really, um, really innovative use of data on his blog, the OKCupid blog, and I think some of you are probably familiar with the blog. We never advertise. Like, the service has to be enough of a success for people to talk to their friends about it. Or uh, the ideal scenario for us is to suddenly get married and there's 100 people in the room and they all hear that So I'm, I'm here with Christian Rudder. Because there's some bad actors, there's people who there kind are, of like yeah, have fake messages. Sure. Is there anything that we can do to, to reduce that? You can throttle people by how often they get replies because I think people are quite good at rec recognizing low quality messages and, okay, and yep. not replying to them. Oh, so they don't feel so lonely? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think probably the best solution is to show them to other people who aren't popular because, okay. you know, they, they're, they, otherwise you're just setting them right. up for more of the same rejection that got them into that place in the first place. But if so. you follow along the same curve, it tends to help. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah, If you're roughly as popular as the person you're talking to, your conversation tends to go a lot better right. than if there's a big disparity. High re demo reception tonight. Oh, so the teasers are like. Okay, so. Should we print it? <laughs> I literally do Oh, it. cool! <laughs> it's very. And now you're searching for cow. Okay. So you're walking, Once walking. Why bring a significant thing at the lower And then you found the cow. Wow, that's cool. So it, it is adaptive fast forwarding. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the adapt. Okay, so that's what you mean by adaptive fast forwarding. So. Right, and then you see another cow. So it just, it, somehow the computer vision is just recognizing the presence of a cow and it's just slowing things down. That is so cool. Yeah, you can see the images. Um, you can also download our app. The Parkland Youth. Yes. Um, there's been a lot of activation of young people, but there's still, I think, a segment of young people who think to themselves, I can't be that person, yeah. uh, especially young people who are shy. I also have a space to contribute, that there's something that I have value to contribute as well. There's a lot of really interesting projects. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out, click the bell.